Hello students, my name is Jordan Kopreski. I am the Equipment Room Manager here at CMI for Fall 2020. Today we are going to go over the Equipment Room policies, mostly dealing with the environmental precautions for COVID. The biggest change for our Equipment Room policies, the ones that pertain mostly for you guys, is that no student checkouts will happen during Tuesday through Thursday. All student project checkouts will happen Friday between the times of 9.30 and 4, which means that all student check-ins should happen on Monday between 9.30 and 3 p.m. All checkouts must include personal protective equipment. This is masks, disinfectant wipes or spray with rags, a face shield or safety glasses, and gloves. Right now, the ER can only have two individuals in the office at any given time. So if there is already a student who is talking to one of the equipment room employees, please wait on outside in the hallway and form a six foot distancing queue line if possible. As usual, if this is your first semester, let's first say congratulations and welcome to CMI. I'm looking forward to seeing all your guys' creative projects. But if this is your first semester and you haven't checked out before, there's some things you need to know. First, all equipment room checkout requests need to happen a day before you want to check out your equipment. So since all equipment are being checked out on Friday, you must submit your requests by Thursday. You can submit them earlier, uh, and earlier is better because it is a first come first serve basis. We do have a you break it, you buy it policy, and we also have a strike board policy. It's a three level strike system. It's a not fun process, so please do not get past strike one. The ER staff will no longer enable group members to pick up for students who turn in a win inventory wish list. So what that means is if you're in a Cine 1 or Advanced Cine class and you are in a two or three person group, whoever turns in the wish list must be present when the equipment is being checked out and must be present when the equipment is checked in. Group members can help out with the check-in and check-out process. But again, the group member who turns in the wish list must be the group member who collects and drops off the equipment at the given times. It is the student's responsibility to co-check the equipment with the ER staff. So what that means is if you guys turn in camera equipment and lights, you will check the camera equipment with one of the ER staff to make sure that everything is wrapped prep correctly, the lights work, uh, nothing is missing, the batteries are with the camera, lenses are not scratched, and all that. One other policy is ER staff has the authority to administer strikes and refuse service to any student. This includes student manipulating, breaking, or disrespecting the rules and policies of the Creative Media Institute equipment room and its property. I will do my best to make sure that your professor or instructor has a printout copy on their canvas of the equipment room policies. You're more than welcome to always stop by the equipment room to check out the policies and procedures. The COVID policies supersede all previous rules that might contradict previous wordings. So again, my name is Jordan Kapreski. I look forward to seeing your guys' creative projects and I hope you have a great and safe semester. Thank you so much.